the city, but I need a green fix. Go back to the countryside and remind myself that it's still there and it's still real and necessary. And it's like recharging your batteries. Definite need for wild spaces. Just to go out and look around you. There's all the different kind of birds. There's a lot of birds along the canal. I enjoy seeing them. And I expect to see the cormorants at a certain spot. And they've got the mallards and the Canada geese. But I do enjoy that contrast because it brings life and wildness into the cities. People come out of shops and they don't realise what's going on. They only look at high level, they never look up to see what's going on. I've slowed down in many ways, but it means that it's given me much more opportunity to observe and, and to see creatures going about their, uh, their day and how you can get to know them. You can get to know wildlife. It's amazing that if you look out the window and you see the same blue tits or the robin, or there's a pair of blackbirds as well. Um, and after a couple of weeks, you, you can feel quite sort of um, attached to them, really. People's gardens have become really, really important for wildlife and the more we can do as individuals the better and the more different individuals do if everyone works together and everyone does a little bit in their garden, um, it can have a huge benefit for, for wildlife. So, um, And that then brings all the extra wildlife and gives me more stuff to look at. Manchester is music and art and culture and vibrance and creativity and connectedness. There's a wonderful kind of energy about Manchester. It's all about moving forward to the future.